Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Japanese counterpart Shinzo Abe launched the bullet train project that covers over 500 kilometers between Mumbai and Ahmedabad. While many hail this proposed high-speed rail project, many others have raised an alarm against it. The project will connect cities in the two Indian states of Maharashtra and Gujarat. These two states, along with the central government, will contribute Rs. 1,10,000 crore to the project. The Japanese government is financing 81% of the cost with a 88,000 crore rupees soft yen loan carrying an interest rate of 0.1%. This is not sufficient as even if interest rates are low, the principal has to be returned in Japanese currency. Plus, the exchange rate is entirely to be borne by India. The repayment amount could rise to around Rs 1.5 lakh crores over 20 years without considering rise in costs or delays that affect most of the infrastructure projects in India. The bullet train project is also economically unviable. It has to compete with airlines. The airfare between Mumbai and Ahmedabad is around Rs 2000 and the travel takes just a little over an hour. The high-speed rail project fares are expected to be between Rs 3,000 to 5,000. At least 1 lakh people have to travel daily by the bullet train to make it profitable. This number is much higher than the average number of passengers travelling between the two cities. Experts have called it a vanity project because 95% of the passengers don't even use the faster Rajdhani or Shatabdi trains. A majority of passengers still find the fares unaffordable. This train will actually not help 95% of the railway travellers who travel with much inconvenience and without any comfort in sleeper class, but will cater to only 5% of the high fare passengers. They still have to make a difficult choice. Another criticism of the high-speed rail project is its preference over the present railway network in the country. Present railway network is marred by lack of security, infrastructure and an overall development. The railway stations stink. The passengers travel with risk. The railway network is burdened. There are regular derailments. Bullet train or not, it will still be the most preferred choice for billions of Indians. Shouldn't that be the priority?